Yo, what is up, everybody? It is your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video once again. Today is the day, the vocal effect that you guys have been asking for, that party next door style of vocals. Um, this was actually a fun one. I actually had fun with this. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing live vocals for you guys, so you can actually hear the vocals live, so you can see that it really does matter recording with the vocals to really get the best effect. So. I'm gonna be singing live with you guys, so I hope you guys don't get too much ear bleed. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can change my buffer size real fast and hopefully don't glitch out on me. Um, don't glitch, don't glitch. Well, it ain't that bad. Well, um, ooh, I came myself perfectly. All right, so party next door, his vocal effect, very ambient, very um, live. It has some a little bit of auto tune in it or a lot of auto tune in here I go. Um, has very big space, a lot of compression I noticed, and it has a lot of that low mid uh, boost, and it has a lot, a bit of delay too. So I did, um, you know, I kind of experimented with it, kind of get the best I could. I'm using one of my beats because I can't use one of his beats because it'd be copyright strikes all over, and I can't play one of his songs either. But um, this is the best attempt, like I said, um, in these videos, these are not the exact part next door style of vocals. It's a very similar effect, um, I think in myself and. Hope you guys know that. Like I said, because if you want to be sound like Party Next Door, better ask, you know, for Christmas, you better ask Santa to, you know, bring you Party Next Door's vocal box and put it in your throat and then, you know, become him. Other than that, you can at least get his effect. So for you guys today, I did something special for you guys. I did it with third party plugins and default plugins, and I'll show you guys how I did it with both. So I'm going to switch over to the third party plugin version and do a little sample little demo and then I'm gonna switch over once I explain that I'm gonna switch over to the default plugins and give you a sample with that so you guys can see you can do this both with third party and default so everybody in any DAW can watch this video and apply this to their um, vocal chain so let's begin let me switch over and here we go play the song and switch over Is it different? yeah Shit crazy. I don't know what's going on, but some don't seem right, this ain't wrong. Trying to figure it out every day, but every day I keep going down, don't feel okay. I don't know what I feel right now, I know shit ain't right. Sometimes I look at you and I wonder who is fight But sometimes I gotta walk away and just be the bigger man Cause I know I can't do that, if I do I'm going down But damn lately I don't feel right Something don't feel right But I know I don't know what's going on But I keep my head on top, damn Hop in the car right away then I think about you and damn I should've just stayed and talked about it Talked about it, I don't know how to talk about it Talk about it, but that's okay Cause I'm gonna do what I gotta do No matter what that is Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't But that's okay That's okay Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little demonstration. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna start doing more live vocal stuff like this. This is fun. But um, okay, so let me explain to you guys what I did in there. Hope you guys enjoyed as always. Let me guys explain to you. So first off, like I said, these are all third party plugins. So pretty much you can use any plugin that you want. That's a good thing about doing it with third party plugins. You can translate this to anything. Um, just take the examples I'm showing you guys. So first off, I thought off with a gate because um, well. I want to gate my vocals, you know, as I gate them. Um, the gate is just like cutting out all that. I mean, if I switch to them, let's just do this. Okay, so now with the gate, you see, it's just cutting out all the background noise as you hear. 
So that's that's the good thing about having a gate. Um, you don't have to use a gate. Um, if you got a treated room, but I just felt like a gate does kind of make it more, you know, makes it more clean sound. Especially if I recorded, you know, it would have been better. Um, next I had the T Pain effect, which I shouldn't talk with that. Let me let me switch back. I got the T Pain effect, which is basically a auto tune, which is basically like the um the auto tune E effects plugin. So any auto tune will work. As you see, I was recording with auto tune, and see, it had a very good result because I recorded with auto tune. If I say you guys need to record with auto tune. So, but what it is, I got it set to whatever the key, the beat, key to beat. So I can't say set the C minors, uh, C sharp, because that's not going to be your beat half time. Whatever your beat is, that's what you want to set the scale of it to. So if your beat's F, whatever, then set it to F, whatever. You know, do what you got to do. Um, let me just take this off now so it don't be, uh, I just wanted to affect that. Okay, so yeah, so that's, you know, auto tune. So any auto tune will work. Alterance, um, wave tune, uh, pitcher, whatever. Um, set to your, you know, key of your beat. Next, I'm using the Volk, the virtual mix rack by Slate Digital. The reason I like this is because it has a bunch of modules in it that you know are compressors, EQs, and um, just a bunch of dynamic stuff and harmonic um, distortion and stuff like that. Which I love this plugin because you can make a an amazing rack of channels. Um, your own channel strip pretty much and you know it's great to record with anything but basically well, I'll walk you through what I've got going on so I got an EQ first and the EQ is cutting about 300 Hertz in a low uh, uh, with a with a low with a high pass with a with a high pass filter well was it low pass with a low pass filter yeah or low cut that's just called low cut but yeah I'm cutting out about three uh 300 Hertz because if you know it's like in his, in his vocals they don't have a lot of low end information it's more that low mids the upper rank low mids and up kind of feel so all the lows i'm cutting all the lows out i said i did a very deep one at three uh 300 hertz so you know you know but you gotta do it to your vocalist about 300 hertz works for me then i gotta go into a regular compressor this is a regular compressor nothing special it has a kind of slow attack and a fast release the kind of you know it's it's not catching all the transits of my voice it's not compressing right away it kind of eases into the compression but it, i want it to release really fast so that's what i'm doing there and i'm doing about a three to one uh ratio and i'm getting about five db of gain reduction um which is you know the usual for me and i got like i said the makeup gain five db because if you're compressing five db you want to make up five db um next i got another eq this is just a um a um SSL EQ. The first was a Neve emulation. This is the SSL EQ. And I'm boosting some of the low mids um a little bit past, a little bit ahead of 300. I'm doing like a low, uh, a low a low shelf. And I'm boosting like a lot. I'm boosting like 14 dB. Like I'm giving like a lot of like because I said, even though I cut all the lows out, but then you have that say that low mids, mid and up, I'm boosting all that and giving it like that kind of throaty kind of like sound in the vocals. And I'm giving that sound. Come on, listen to that vocal. I, I like that that kind of throatiness of the vocals that it has. So that's what I'm boosting right there. Um, like I say, that's the taste. But to me, that works for me. So I'm doing, like I said, a high, a low shelf above. Like at, I'm guessing that's about uh, 325, about 325 hertz. And just boosting all that to give it some, um, you know, some more low, like lower mids. Um, frequency content if we want then i'm using another compressor and this is a 1176 emulation um you can use any compressor like i said i just like this compressor because excuse me thinking about this compressor is it's pretty much it's easy to use you got set to a four to one ratio um i got a fast attack fast release for the the, the second compressor. i want this one to this is gonna be my tone shaping compressor my first one is kind of my leveling to kind of level the vocals out and then this one is what I'm using to crush the vocals and kind of give me that 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 sound. Cause that's um that's why I always use two EQs and two compressors because like I said the first two are just the the first two are always to kind of tame the vocals and sh and um uh just kind of keep them consistent. And then these the next two are usually my next EQ and compressor use the the the, the, the tone shaping um effects. And then I'm getting about five dB of compression here, boosting pretty hard. Fast attack, fast release, um, and that's pretty much it with that. Just to kind of give it that kind of vocals you hear. Like if I switch to it, uh, we'll just mute. Now you can hear me through it. And you hear you hear how, um, how it sounds kind of plain and boring right now. But then when I put it in there, you hear like a lot of them low, like low frequency. Like I didn't I boost too much there. But um, 
as you can see, like, you know, you got to boost the low shell. But see, you hear that throatiness of my the low mids. You want that. See how it has no low content information? You really want that because that just gives it that, that sound. Um, so, yeah, now you can hear it all in serial. It's actually, I'm compressing pretty hard, as you see. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. But that, that's how I got that sound. I'm boosting pretty hard. So, pretty aggressive with the vocals because I want the vocals to really stand out and be prominent. Because especially when I add the, the reverb and delay, it's going to kind of drown them out. So now back to this. I use Echo Boy as my delay. I'm using one eighth of delay. Um, it's pretty standard. Um, I'm cutting some of the lows, cutting some of the highs, you know, because I don't need, I just want to be mid frequency, like mid frequency, like dominant, add a little saturation, a lot of feedback. And I blend, I turned the mix down. Then you turn the mix down in your the, um your uh, reverb, and that way it just kind of it makes it where you can hear the reverb, but you can't you can hear the delay, but you can't. So if I turn it on, now you hear how it's just there, but it's not like it's not like loud like this. You don't want it sounding like that. That's annoying. But you want to kind of have it right under the vocal. So anytime I go, you know. And I add a lot of feedback, so it just kind of, you know, yeah, okay, I'm feeling kind of sad today. <laughs> so that's that. And then last, I added the Verb Suite Classics um, by Slate Digital. It's their new reverb. Like I say, any reverb works. You can use Valhalla. You can use whatever reverb you want. I like this reverb because it's just nice. I set it to the Lexicon reverb. Um, everything's basically default pretty much. Um, so, like I say, any reverb work, I just kind of blended the, I use about 25% wet because I don't want a lot of, you know, reverb. I don't want to be too much, too strong. So if I turn it back, as you hear, if I turn the reverb up too loud, it sounds like this. So you want to just be like, you know, just give a, a little bit of space, just a little bit of space in there. And then with the auto, that shit okay. Sometimes I don't know what's going on. I just don't feel right no more. I just don't even get it. I just know I'm with it. And that's how we go. So you see, that's how that's my vocal chain with my third party plugins to get some of that 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 part next door vo vocals. But what about if you don't have third party plugins? I got the answer right here for you. I'm show you how to do it with FL Studio default plugins. So sit back, enjoy, and let's talk about it. Is it different? Yeah. Man. I don't even know. Shit. Something just don't seem right. I don't even get it no more, no more. Sometimes I just wanna talk. But that ain't happening. I just gotta keep on going and doing what I gotta do. This shit ain't crazy, I know. Sometimes I wanna stay, but I know I gotta go, I gotta go. I know how I feel, that shit ain't real. Sometimes you gotta let it go, I just know that's how it is. You gotta let them just get it and oh. And sometimes I. Shows. Sometimes I wonder if you gon' walk out the door And never come back, come back Never come back, come back Goddamn, I'm lost In this state of mind I know, I know And sometimes I really
So now let's switch over and see what I did to get these same vocals in default plugins. First off, you already know, we're gonna start off with Pitcher because Pitcher is where it's at. That is the default um, auto-tune plugin that comes with stock with FL Studio. Like you said, once again, it's set to minor scale, C sharp, that's what my beat is set to. So you have to set to your beat. Also the retune speed, I had it set to 70 because I felt like, um, Setting it the fast would sound too crazy and too loud. So I just kind of set it to um, 70 to kind of make it a smoother transition. Um, you know, but because I think a picture just gets smoother when you set it to a lower value. Next up is an EQ, and I'm going to switch to this so you can hear it. And let's just kind of turn everything up. Okay, so we got picture going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll turn it off. Next, I actually cut some of the lows out, as you can hear. Um, I cut about 200 hertz, about the same as with the other one you cut more if you want to because you don't want all this you don't want all this in the vocals you don't need all that you want to kind of cut right out here because it had that kind of that kind of that voice it's almost like kind of close to a telephone voice but not and because i say i'm gonna boost a bunch of these frequencies so i say i always cut i cut my lows all the time because i just don't need them there's it's just no point in using them because that's gonna be um occupied by my bass and all that and kick drums and stuff so that's a good thing okay just a freaking fly okay here get on my nerve next i put a compressor on there so i'm using the fruity limiter because that's the best compressor compared to that fruity compressor it sucks balls um i said the compression mode got kind of a um medium attack and a fast release you guys said to your vocals the thresholds pulled down pretty hard um compression wise i'm using four to one uh five to one so very hard compression i brought threshold down and i'm boosting the gain and that just gives it some volume and gives it a little bit more punch and lets it cut through the mix better. Without it sounds like this, very plain, very low. Turn that thing back in and you got this big, proud, loud vocals. Then next I use another EQ where I'm boosting those mid frequencies as you can hear now. Um, I'm boosting some of them, you know, low mids and I'm boosting a little bit of highs too to give me a little bit of just top end clarity because you know, you can do that. Um, like I said, without it, it sounds like this, and it sounds kind of like, uh, it sounds pretty good, but now, you know, now I'll be able to cut through the mix a lot better and be prominent in the beat. So, you know, just boost around the, the low mids and boost a little bit of highs to kind of give you, you know, that that kind of edge, get that kind of air and that, like I said, that low kind of throat, that little throat noise vocals or whatever, you know, so I don't know what to call it, but, you know, just kind of boost them and you just hear, sounds really, really good, right? I mean, it sounds like, you know, make you're moist. <laughs> Next, I put a fruity delay on there because why not? Why not? Um, same, thing same thing here. here. Um, I set it to, I think, four. Yeah, four timing. I brought down the delay. That is annoying. I'm going to turn it down. I brought down the delay time, um, the feedback volume a little bit. It's on normal, nothing special there. Brought down the dry a little bit. Um, very standard, pretty much standard um, settings. Just really mess with the timing is what's really what you need to work on. And then I brought the mix down a lot because it sounds really crazy with a lot, like, fully... Uh, wet so so it sound like this it sound like this you don't want that you don't want that you want it to be like, to be like right, right under the right vocals under the like the echo to be just the, the delay to be right under the vocals, right under the vocals. See? see just, just like just like these echo boy and then i use a the fruity reverb, reverb too and that just gives it space like i said i'm cutting the lows about three four hundred hertz cutting the highs about 250k or 250k uh 2k two kilohertz um and I brought the mix down a little bit because I want too much reverb. Remember I said, you don't want a lot of reverb. So when it's on there, now you get that space. And then you put the picture back in. Okay, I know what's going on, going on. And I know it's real. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's it. That's how you get the Party Next Door vocals with third-party plugins and default plugins. Um, hope it helped you guys out. Like I said, I have fun doing it, especially doing it live. So you actually hear it live. So you actually hear the potential of it. Like I said, cause you know, doing it after the fact is not as good as actually doing it in real time. Cause in real time, you can really see how, you know, recording with this stuff sounds amazing. It sounds good. So hope you guys enjoy. Like always, hope you, uh, you leave a like at the description below. Not a good miss. And you also, you know, hit me up and let me know what else you guys want to see. I know it's kind of long video because I want to do both third party and default in the same video to help you guys both fast. I think I made two separate videos. So hope you guys enjoy. Like always, um, 
this is a fun one. Uh, if you got any more requests for vocal effects, leave them in the description below, um, the comments below. Just let me know the vocal, the artist name, the vocals, and the song. So I, the, well, the part, the vocal coming and the song, so I can look it up and try to emulate the effect for you guys, like always. So hope you guys enjoy, like always. Um, yeah, you know what it is, your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. Not motivated by the money, but the like, comments, subscribe, and views, like always. Um, and guess what, everybody? I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.